Hi everybody and welcome back to Nelly and Ruth Designs. This is part two of the design team project that I'm working on. And gosh, I did not put um, my normal paperwork out showing, oh, here we go, um, the design team with, um, I'm going to put it over here, with Mad Paper Crush. Oh, there's a little thing that I didn't realize I had. Um, Sharon's papers, that's what I'm using for this. And remember, if you uh, make a purchase in Sharon's shop, if you see paper here that you like, um, please make sure that you use the coupon code at checkout, Nellie and Ruth Designs, and you'll get a discount. So I'm going to leave those there so you know that it's Mad Paper Crush. So this is part two, and again, thanks for joining in. Um, I want to thank all my new subscribers for subscribing, and I'm, again, I'm really having fun with this, and I'm glad that um, my feedback has been very positive, you know, in what I'm doing and in what I'm creating. So thank you, everybody. So today, um, I want to show you, from part one, I showed you the papers. I gave an idea of what I wanted to do. I wanted to make a lot of littles with Sharon's papers. And these were the, and I, I believe that I, I did show you um, the um, die cut to make these slide film holders. So I have these three here. I'm not taking everything out that I cut and... Um, got ready. I'm just going to do in each episode, I'll work with whatever, you know, I, I choose and cut and get ready. So I did want to show you these because these came out really pretty. Um, those we are not using. This we are going to use today. And I wanted to show you the other little, um, these are from the small, um, die cuts I had showed you of the little envelopes and pockets. And these are very cute. And I love the way um, when Sharon designed her paper, it was very easy for me to um, cut my strips and create these little envelopes and pockets. And this one here, I love this size here. This is tiny, tiny. This is three inches. Well, little less than three. Um, you can see it there. And it's almost two inches. It's just shy of two inches. Um, I could give you the exact dimensions off of the um, box with the die cuts in these, but these are very cute. And then the inside um, little tag Little tiny tag that fits right in there like that. A little journaling card and it comes in three different styles and they're just very very cute. So that's one of the and like I said the way she positioned um, her images on the paper it just really these really came out cute. And then this little little envelope here with the the top and I think I will put a couple brads on here to close it that'll be cute in a, a journal and then this one here this here actually had the top on it and I thought I would just make it a little more funky and I cut that off and just followed the line to give it a, a really different look here and then these two here, um, I'm going to be using these today. And I'll make little journaling cards for them after. But I wanted to get the envelopes decorated. And I wanted to decorate the slide film one today. Um, the other thing that I did was I have some Tim Holtz die cuts of flowers. And I took, again, I took Sharon's papers. I'll be using these um, in another project continuing with Sharon's, the design team for September. Um, but I really like the way these came out. Um, I just think these are really, these are just a few that I cut out, but these are really pretty too. I've always liked this um, particular 
die cut um, from Tim Holtz. So I'm going to set these aside over here. I may use a couple of those today. I'm not sure. And then this I want to incorporate. Um, my neighbor, um, Charlene, is a weaver. And this is some of the, she makes, this is silk. Um, this is silk yarn right here. And she makes the most gorgeous um, scarves and hats. She does wall art. She has incorporated this with copper wiring. Um, so she's been giving me all of her remnants. And I have this plain one here that I thought would be nice. And I do have an idea what I want to use that for. This one is a little bit darker, which I think would go really nice with this, these tickets. I'm going to be using these tickets. And then I have this variegated one here. Um, whoops. So we'll be using those today. And it's just very nice of Char to um, think of me when she has these remnants. And I have a lot of other really fun um, pieces that she has actually woven. And I have her her end cuts from her. Um, she makes beautiful jackets and um, like kimono style. Um, so, all right. So we'll be using those. And these here, these gals are fun. Um, these actually I purchased from a gal on Instagram and she acquired an old yearbook and I have all different sizes, um, but these are yearbook images from, I think she said the 1950s, 60s, and these are fun. Um, there's some, I have some little ones. I wanted the pictures of women, and I also have some larger ones of gals and of guys. I'll just show you these, because these are, these are a lot of fun. So those three I do, I definitely want to use. But here's some of the other ones. And they they come in all different sizes. So I really would like to use these in clusters and um, have some of the Tim Holtz sayings go with them. These would be great in greeting cards. I'm thinking about making greeting cards with the larger images. Um, they make great birthday cards. So I have those. I have a whole slew of them. I just, I really, I really liked these. And some of the images are just wonderful of these, these people, whoever they may be. I'm not sure even what state they came from or what high school, but they're fun. So I pulled a few. Oh, the little ones are flying away. I pulled a few to use here because I just thought it would be fun. Um, so I thought I would make little clusters on each of these here using, this is the slide, um, film that I had cut. This is the only piece here that isn't part of Sharon's pack. Um, this was a leftover piece of scrap, but I really liked it with some of these colors. So, and these are from Sharon's, um, papers right here so all right so I think we're going to start with this one here let me just separate some of this stuff and I'm working on my mat today because all these colors kind of blend in with my my blue mat and I just I didn't want to make it hard for you to see um and I'm not sure if I'm going to um distress around here. I may. I did on these, so I think I'll do just a little tiny bit. I don't want to do too much, but I'm 
and I'm still contemplating what I'm going to put in the center here. Um, and I think for this one, I may put a vellum style um, if I can find a good size one. Some of them are a little small. Something like that might be kind of fun. I have things tucked everywhere. These, I don't believe I have any horizontal. I think these are all vertical images of the flowers. Yeah, these are all vertical. So I'm not going to use those. These here are not going to be used. These are not, oh, this might, these might be big enough for what I'm thinking about doing. Um, oh yeah, that would work, this size here. I'd like to get a really transparent, see some of this vellum I think is a little dark, but maybe not. Let's see, a lot of these are vertical, there's not too many horizontal. Some of these I guess I could use horizontally. I just don't want it to be too dark. Let's see. This may work because I'm going to be um, covering some of this side here. So let's try this. Let us try that. And actually, if I get it just so, that will cover the um, piece in there. So let's do that. And I, what I'm going to do, instead of gluing this down onto the back, I'm going to glue it around here. Um, I'm going to get a couple little dots going just to tack it down. Come on. So, I guess it doesn't really, yes, yeah, this way. All right, and then now what I'll do is go through just a little bit. another very hot day here today. Um, we have not gotten a break with the humidity. Um, and it just makes it bad and the mosquitoes are still very bad. Um, so today's a good day to be in. There. Okay, so we got that. Got that done. We might as well finish this up. We'll work on this one here. So my idea was, 
uh, to use the yarn, I'm thinking about, first I want to match up what what's going to go where. Um, so I have these three. I'm going to use that one there. I'm going to use that one there. Although I do like, I'm having a problem because I do like this writing. Um, this one should probably go. Get some color here. Hmm. And I want to have the, I do want these to overlap because I want to have the yarn come through these two holes here and then make a nice, um, you know, maybe wrap it a couple times, and do something funky on the end there. Um, I did have these all laid out, but then I'm like, well, I can't do that because um, I'm going to get these laid out first so I know what, what I want to do. One of the little gales here. Okay. Set that there for a minute. Not sure if that's how I, I want that layout, so I'm just going to leave that there. This one, still like to see that the wording there. This one I may change out because there's not a lot of I don't know if I like that. You just have to play with it and see what's going to work. This might be a little too bright for that muted. Um that muted piece. Maybe this one might work a little bit better. Uh, let's put that there for now. We'll just match up the colors and um, hmm. That. I'd still like to put a little I don't know, I'm debating whether to put a little saying on these or not. Um, I may leave them because I'm, I'm going to put these in my shop. And then if somebody wants to put a little Tim Holtz saying there or whatever, they can. Um, I don't know. I do like that. And then this one, I do pretty much similar to this, maybe on this side, because I do like this writing here. Shouldn't worry about that writing, but I do like it. Let's do 
and I'll move this up a little bit. So I'm just trying to see um, as far as the colors and then I can play with the layout. But I think I like this. I don't know if that's too much. I think that was too much. I think this might be a bit better. It's a little softer. This I can use on another envelope. This one I'm going to do because I do like that. So I'm going to set this aside here. We're going to move this up here. And I'm going to um, work with this one. this a little bit. Just enough to get those little white corners, the little whites. All right, so I'm just going to try this layout again, just so I know what I'm, where I'm going with it. I'm just kind of just kind of quiet today um, I started my workouts again and um, just kind of tired from them from it it's been a while since I've done anything and um, just not used to it so I'm just a little tired And I haven't had any lunch yet. Um, my husband just went to the store um, for um, something for dinner. They're having a a barbecue um, festival in our town, but we're not going to go. It's we took a drive yesterday. We went to, um, I came down here. Yesterday we went to the lake and, um, I don't know if I had it up here or down here, but here, um, to have a, a picnic lunch. And it was packed. We live in a resort area. And uh, I was talking to another couple there yesterday. They live about an hour, hour and a half away. They have a boat on the lake. But they were sitting, you know, near the docks. And 
they were in the shade and he was dozing off and on and um and I I went up to him and I says boy you got the best you got the best spot in the house here today and she says yeah I know she said normally she goes typically we're out on our boat um but we didn't want to we didn't want to go out today um so we're just hanging here and relaxing and she looked at me and she goes I just can't wait for everybody to go home I said yeah I know I said you know the the tourism dollar brings an awful lot to our area but um it's it gets a bit much um, it gets a bit much with everybody here and So it's nice. We really like it, us locals. We really like it when uh, um, September rolls around and the kids are, hopefully the kids will be back in school this year. And everyone, everyone goes home. And we can get back to, but then we have the weekends. Everybody comes up. Um, you know, uh, for the weekends to shop and we have out a lot of outlet centers. And then in the fall, they come up and do the leaf peeping, um, through the Adirondacks. So it's really, it's not until after, um, October that everybody stops coming. Okay. All right. So there's that one. I like that. And then, um, we will do a little... I think this might be, yeah, this is the size that fits. Um, but we will do a, this is also Sharon's paper. This is from part of her lot. Um, but we'll do a, I might do a little different. Um, journaling card in there and then again maybe I won't maybe I'll just dial this up a little bit because this is this is nice so we're going to set this aside I'm going to get that off of there I don't know what this is here only some old glue I had on there all right so that's going to set there and we're going to work on this one here And let's see what else. So today when I was on, I've got to do something. Um, when I go on my treadmill, I like to, sometimes I listen to, it's not a treadmill, my elliptical. Um, I'll listen to music. and But lately I've been watching, um, getting, I get caught up on my YouTube crafting um, channels that I subscribe to. So this morning I watched um, Gail Agostinelli. I got kind of got caught up on her. Um, so I watched Gail and I think she was the only one I watched today. So I watched what she was doing, which is always fun. Gail's always in such a good mood. always so happy which is a good thing I kind of like that they can find a little saying to I want to bring this in a little bit because I just want that one there yeah okay we'll do it that way um And what else? Let's see. Brought out a new board game. Um, my son and I, we like to, well, the whole family likes to play board games. But and I did that again. Um, so I brought one out. It's called Wikersham. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. 
but I bought it when my husband and I first got married. And um, it's about yay big. And there's six wooden um, planks, I guess I'll call them. And they all scooped out holes. And you put your marble in there and they slide. Um, it's kind of like a tic-tac-toe type thing, but you keep sliding it and messing up your partner. So last, it's been a while since I played it. My son says, Mom, you're not even trying to win. I says, Patrick, I'm just trying to get the concept down again. Uh, but he is so good um, figuring out um, puzzles and all kinds of fun stuff that he really has me over a barrel. And I find that I can't always, I'm not as sharp as I used to be. Um, which bothers me. I don't know if I just have a lot of other things that I, I think about. Um, but... I don't know. Sometimes I blame it. I've had a lot of surgeries over the years. And I blame it on, uh, I'm going to put this here. I don't like that. I blame it on the, um, the anesthesia I've had. Um, but that there but then there's some things I never forget but I think that's always the way I was gonna I was thinking about using Tim Holtz people on these and I said no I really I don't think they really would have worked out well I think these women are just really cool and I think that with the flowers I think they're just really really fun okay so that one's done set that there all right, now let's do the slide, the slide film one. And I'm going to leave this here. I don't know if I will. I do want to do. I may punch here and here and then run the... Um, run it down the side. So if I do that, I could, come on Barbie, I could run this over here on this side. And I do want to make sure that the little notches show. I just think they're cool. Run that like that. Maybe like that. Hmm. On Gail, doesn't she look like a Gail? Okay. 
Hmm. <clears throat> Let's take away that slide film. And maybe we'll just go. <laughs> well, let's see. We're going to get this. Something is going to work. Now, maybe... I just want that as a background. My fingers are getting sticky here. I'm wondering <clears throat> if maybe Um, what are your ideas? What are your ideas? Maybe we could cut this down or cut it in half. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Let me cut this in half. I don't think we need that entire. I think I'm just looking more to have, have this show. I think that's just cool. I just think it adds a different dimension. I could even have it like that. I know, and you're probably saying, why does she need all of that on there? Um, which I really don't, but I just think it would be really... like that. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to I'm going to work with these cuz I just I'm not going to um I'm not going to do something. I'm not going to force it. I can't force that. So let's get this going here. And sometimes I don't remember who, oh, I know. I was watching um, Marguerite Miller and she's the one that I watched to learn how to do my um, master boards. And Marguerite said that don't, you know, don't force it. Um, if it's not working or you're not sure, just walk away for an hour or so. Come back, look at it, do it again, see what you think of it. If you still don't like it, walk away, sleep on it, and then finish it up the next day. So that's what I'm going to do with that slide film because I do like I do like this. Um, so I got to think about it. I may just have to come up with a totally different concept. All right. Okie 
Okay. Every time I look at her, I have to, I have to laugh. She looks like she's gritting her teeth. Like, you know, this chair is really not comfortable. Can you just take the photo so I can get up? So I can just do a little knot here, or I can do this as well. Let's see, let's thread this back through um, here. And how about if I just tie it? Let's try to tie it at the top here. I don't know if I want a bow. I don't want a bow. I think I'll just tie it in a little knot and just maybe let it hang down a little bit. And I don't really like that. It, nothing is working for me today. Nothing at all. So I think we're going to bring this back through here. Do you ever have one of those days that you've got a bunch of stuff in mind and it just doesn't, it's not working? We'll bring this through and then we're just going to Bring it down. And tie it on the side. I don't want to do a charm or anything like that. I don't want to add any more to it. So let's just do it like this. I don't want to add sorry silk. That'll just be too much. This just adds a little just adds a little extra color to it. I like that. Just a little extra something. All right. And then um, this one, I'm going to go with just the, well, I think I'm going to go with this one, the variegated. This one here. And I'm going to do the same thing here. See how this frays? See the, the all the little silky fibers? I should fray those ends. That would be. Let's see how this looks. Frayed after I tie it. I do like that gold. I do like that gold there showing. Okay, all right. Take a little bit more off of this one. There, okay, all right. All right, so now maybe I will, I can at least do this one. I don't have another one. Um, I didn't cut it. So I will have to do that, but I can at least get one done. And then I'm going to call it a day um, because things just aren't, I don't think, going that smoothly. So... Let's see, I would like to use, um, 
Sharon's paper to add to this. And I could rip and tear around this and add this here to it. Um, the other thing that I have, I've got her bird paper, and I could tear, maybe I'll do a bird, her bird. Um, I just want to see if I want to. I guess we can do. Let me try it this way. It's just paper, right? You can always run more. Maybe after I have something to eat, my creative juices will come back. Because they sure as heck aren't here right now. ago let's give this a go 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 backside plane to journal on and let's see um, I want to add I want to add a little bit to this. You know what I should do? I want to use that birch bark. I should just put some birch bark on here. That would be pretty. Um, that would be pretty. I'm just playing with some of these that I... that I um, ran off. These little arms off. And then I want that. Oh dear, dear, dear. Dear, dear, dear. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Told you, the juices just aren't flowing today for me. Usually I've got a good idea of what I, what I want to do. And nothing is inspiring me or hitting me. Um, maybe that's all it needs. Maybe it doesn't need anything else. Maybe it doesn't need anything else. I would like to put a little, these are from Sharon too. These are leftover scraps that I punched. Um, oh, this needs a little tag or not, I don't think so.
no I'm just gonna leave that like that and then that way I think that's enough I don't want to overdo it I think that's pretty all right so we're gonna leave that like that and then let's um I'll do another tag or a little journaling card for that. But let's look at this here with some birch bark. I think this might be, I think this might be pretty. So I did say I wanted to use some of this. And I think this just may be what it needs. Let that do its little natural thing there I do like this and then I can put a little something on the side here as well I'm just going to tack that down a little bit so I don't want it all to come away started here get this started oh, there we go yeah yeah I think this will be really this will make it much more interesting all the little curly cues going on I'm just going to tack all this down down here yeah I like that much better much 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 better get this all tacked down this would be really pretty in a book too much better okay all that there and then i want to put a little something here um let me see what sharon what else i have for sharon for well let me see something here how about how about another one of her little birds again Let's try this with the flower. I want it to all coordinate because I'd like to I'd like to put these in as um, some sets. So now should I rip this one or should I cut this a little bit, make it a little more refined? Um, I think I'm gonna cut it a little bit. And we'll see where that takes us. That way I can get a little bit closer. I don't want to cover up too much of that birch bark. And if this, if I had printed this on a heavier um, on my photo paper. I'd be using my X-Acto knife to really get around it and the greenery, but um, this is just regular copy paper, and I don't want to rip and tear it.
that little stem. Don't really need that. Okay. Oh, I think that's pretty. I think that'll be pretty. And um, yeah, I think that'll be pretty just like that. And I'm not going to, it probably would have been better if I had run it on the heavier card stock, but I'm not too concerned about it um, because there's enough of it on the paper here. So I'm going to yeah, okay. I'm gonna get this on and then I'm going to I guess I'll be all right. I won't do the tail all the way. I'm going to put the tail there, and the beak will protect that. There. Oh, I like that. Much better. I think that's very pretty. I think that's much, much better. Excellent. And I think that's all that that needs. It's just very natural and... Um, yeah, I like that. That came out really nice. So there you have it. That was a struggle today, um, but I accomplished what I set out to do. I think I've got three lovely pieces here, and um, here's the journaling card. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run off another one for this here, and um, that's it. So there you have it in a nutshell, folks. Um, if you're struggling, don't panic. You'll get your mojo back. You'll figure it out. Um, just brush it aside. Think about it. Um, look around. See what's in your corner. What's what you have to use and what you what you uh, feel like using. And um, it usually it all comes together and works out. So that's it for today. Um, I'm going to sign off, and I will see you in my next video. Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye bye.